Except you have diabetes. So you have diabetes. Now what? Accepting that you have diabetes is often the most difficult hurdle for you to overcome. The more you fight it, the more everything is going to feel like a struggle. The more you embrace it, though, the easier it's actually going to get for you to live your life. I know it's easy to say and hard to do, but the most important part is a slight shift in your perspective. In frustration, you might think of type 1 diabetes as a monster inside of you that you have to slay. Instead, try to think of it as something that needs to be managed or tamed with skills that are learned, practiced, and eventually mastered. Living a healthy and full life with diabetes is totally achievable. Mindfulness. It's a great tool that can help you get started on the path to acceptance. Lots of healthcare professionals recommend mindfulness, and not just for patients living with diabetes. The goal is to be more aware of your thoughts, feelings, and your own body through a judgment-free lens. Mindfulness can keep you from dwelling on negative feelings, which leaves more energy for you to focus on how to improve. Now you can try mindfulness out through guided meditations on YouTube or with apps like Calm or Headspace. Even a little mindfulness practice can be so powerful in helping you to start accepting your diabetes. Check your blood sugar. Having type 1 diabetes means that your body no longer regulates your sugar levels. You are your pancreas. It's on you to actively check and monitor your blood glucose levels and learn how to respond to it. No matter how long you've had diabetes, here is my biggest piece of advice. Try not to worry about getting perfect blood sugar numbers. In fact, the number you see when you check can never be perfect because it isn't inherently good, bad, or a measure of your self-worth. It's just a number. It's going to help you gauge what to do next. In some ways, managing diabetes is like getting a haircut or picking out new clothes. You need to know your body well so you can make the choices that help you feel good in it, whether it's bright pink hair or a pair of chunky new sneakers. And just like we've all had regrettable fashion choices, no one gets diabetes right all the time. The best thing you can do is checking your blood glucose levels and making it a habit. By doing it before you eat and at key times, it'll become second nature to you. You'll then have the most up-to-date information about your body and you'll be more in control. Specifically, you'll start to notice how different factors affect your blood sugar levels, like eating a ham sandwich compared to eating a hot fudge sundae. Take your insulin. The most important part of managing type 1 diabetes is making sure you're taking your insulin consistently. This is the only way that your body can lower blood sugar since your pancreas isn't making it right now. As taking insulin becomes a habit, you won't think twice about it. As with checking blood sugar, it's totally normal to worry about numbers. If you feel nervous about going too low, just take a smaller dose of insulin. You can always correct it later. Diabetes may initially feel like a huge weight, but it's only a small part of you and it can be managed. One day at a time, you'll understand your body. And before you know it, you're going to be a pro. Accepting that you have diabetes, checking your blood sugar, and getting skilled with taking your insulin will build a foundation for a full and healthy life. It seems like a lot, but feel free to just start with two, as long as one is taking your insulin.